Deep cycle batteries, golf cart batteries, need a reasonable amount of charge in them in order for any golf cart battery charger to turn on and start charging. If your batteries are too low, it may appear that your charger isn't working. Before purchasing a new charger, check the voltage of your batteries. If your golf cart moves when you try to drive it, your batteries have sufficient charge in them for the charger to recognize the batteries and start charging. If at this point the charger does not start charging, the likelihood is your charger isn't working and you need to replace it. If your golf cart does not move, you can go to the next step by first making sure you have a clean connection with all your cables and battery terminals and then checking to see how many volts are in your batteries. The simple way to do this is with a multimeter. First you can check each battery one by one, switch your multimeter on to DC volts and place the positive and negative probes on the respective terminals like this. Repeat this to all your batteries and take a note of the voltage for each battery. Next, take a collective reading of all the batteries by placing the multimeter probes on the positive terminal of the first battery and the negative terminal on the last battery. This will give you the overall voltage of your batteries. If you are charging one 6 volt battery, switch the charger to 6 volts and the amps to the lowest you have. You can also connect two 6 volt batteries together and switch the voltage to 12 volts. You can do this by connecting one of the battery cables to the positive terminal of one battery and then to the negative terminal of the other battery. This leaves a positive and negative terminal on each of the batteries free without anything connected to them. You can then go ahead and connect your 12 volt car battery charger to those three terminals. The red lead to the positive and the black lead to the negative. For 8 volt batteries you would just set the car battery charger to 12 volts and the lowest amps. Warning. You will need to keep an eye on this while charging because the car battery charger will not turn off at 8 volts as it's programmed to turn off at 12 volts. So you will need a multimeter to check them from time to time and manually switch off the charger when they reach around 8 volts. Lastly, you can check the voltage at the receptacle of the golf cart to see if you are getting the same voltage as you did when you checked all the batteries collectively.